Hello siblings and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the friend tag with my friend Charlie. She was the one who I lived with like right before I moved here for a whole month. So we've gotten to know each other very quick and uh, <laughs> so we thought it'd be fun to do the friend tag and I kind of introduce you guys to her because she was in some of my vlogs but we never really did like an intro or anything. Yeah. So you can introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Charlie. I'm from Texas. I'm 22. <laughs> Alright, so y'all just asked those questions and we're just gonna hop right in and start answering them. <laughs> the first question, would y'all pass the toilet paper to the other one if you were in the stall and you needed it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I do have a stranger. Yeah, I would do it with a stranger for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah, like you gotta do it. I just like that it. that was the first question on here. Yeah, 100%. Thanks for that. <laughs> okay, so I think we should start with like the classic, how did we meet? So basically like I was friends with one of her friends mm -hmm. and then we all started playing games together and then she would be like, hello, in the back of the Games, yeah, and then we follow each other on Instagram, and then I came out here to meet everyone, and that's when we like, yeah, for sure. And then going off of that, let's talk about first impressions, and you oh. should go first because she told me what it was. <laughs> so without meeting her in person, boneless off the rip, it was like, what the heck? I was like, um, she took my spot in our gaming <laughs> crew. I was like, who's Sydney? I was like, okay. Because like mean, the friend group, there's two guys. No, three guys, and then her, and yeah. then I just joined. So we would usually She's do like, a four-player game, and <laughs> I came home from work one day, and they had already started playing without me, and the fourth slot was picked up, and I was like, um, who is this? You're like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of just, uh, snuck in real quick. I was like, man, I really hope Charlie's, like, nice and doesn't hate me or, like, wanted to play, because I just took the fourth spot. No, it didn't matter. And then whenever I met her in person, obviously really, like, fun, outgoing, and, like, funny. Uh, my first impression was I was just worried that she was gonna hate me and but one because I started like playing video games with like the boys who were in her friend group and I was like I really hope she's not like uh like how do you say it like oh, territorial yeah. about it like these are my friends or whatever especially because one of them's your fiance so. yeah <laughs> um and then what was I gonna say that I have followed you oh yeah so she found my tiktok before we like really knew each other I was like live on tiktok mm. and Juan was like Charlie's watching your tiktok live I was like who no it's because I had come across her on my for you page yeah like just by coming across her I didn't look her up yeah literally I was like there's up. this girl her name's Sydney she lives in Utah right now and she plays games I was like wait what I like, was like is this, this her yeah, yeah yeah so I was like I hope she doesn't stalk my tiktok because that's like the cringiest social media I have because <laughs> you know gotta get those tiktok views <laughs> I didn't go that far back but okay that's good <laughs> but then when we met in person she was like so nice and chill and actually the first time I met her it was the weekend of her birthday mm -hmm. so there was like a birthday party so I met like all of her friends and mm -hmm. it was like really fun and we played games and there was queso so I can't be mad about it <laughs> Yeah. And then since then, she's made me that queso like twice. It's so good. Yeah. But yeah. It was meat moving together. I was like, Shh. yeah, it was little, like, <laughs> it was actually funny. The first time we met, I go to look at apartments and I come back and I was like, can I live with you guys for like a month? <laughs> and they were like, I guess. <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess these people are cool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We got an extra bedroom for yeah. a reason. It was so. definitely so random. Like, what was your like thoughts when you're like, Sydney's moving in? <laughs> Um, I just think that we had already liked you just off of our birthday, my birthday party, yeah. and um, we knew that you were trying to move to Houston, and that whatever we had to do to help you out, like, in between the in-between period, yeah, like, it's completely fine. We've had friends live with us before, anybody could come to our house at any time, so. Like. They're so nice, that's what I was saying, I was, like, telling the vlog, I was like, <laughs> my friends are so nice, so genuine, like, <laughs> now you know. Was it hard to live together for a month? Was it awkward? Or, like, that, what was the situation from each perspective? I think be uh, the birthday period was a good introduction, so mm -hmm. we know how the flow would be later yeah, on. Yeah, so it wasn't awkward. And obviously, because we knew um, Sid's lifestyle on YouTube, like, I was trying my best to, like, plan before she actually got to Texas to move in, um, like, what stuff we could do yeah. and um, yeah. just how we can like make this comfortable oh yeah we started texting and she's like here's a bunch of fun stuff we could do like when i'm not working and it, then we ended up doing all of it which was fun yeah. but i think it was totally fine living together like literally every night we would sit in the we would eat dinner together and then we would like play games yeah it was super fun and like i always tried to do my part and like clean up and stuff so it wasn't ever like Cindy never cleans or like something like that at least i hope but that's not how it, it was. it's definitely a 
weird situation because um, usually whenever somebody's living with you, they're also like coming in and out of the house. But Sydney works from home. So I never left. So she never <laughs> left. But it's like a good balance that me and Juan had to work because we didn't spend way yeah, too much time Yeah, it wasn't like all day because they would yeah. go to work and not get home till like 5.30 or so. So mm -hmm. like I was home alone all day being able to like kind of do my own thing. And then like even when they came home, we weren't just hanging out the entire time. Like we still had our private time, mm -hmm. like going to our own rooms or whatever. So it wasn't like in your face I feel like it just felt like friends hanging out every night like it yeah. almost felt like I would just come over every night because I was mostly just in my room yeah it, it, like it, I've had college roommates before so it's like the exact same yeah, thing I just, and then something else that I appreciated was that whenever we we're at work and we have two dogs to so like help out put, taking the dogs outside mm -hmm. or giving them water and then um, if I were to come home at, after work usually I make dinner every day it helped me out to make dinner so that was also really cool let's go I'm a good roommate <laughs> it was weird because that's the first time I've ever had roommates it's like I've lived with my siblings, obviously, but like I've never lived with like a friend or something. Yeah. So I think it was a good little experience for me. <laughs> for one. And I broke the bed. <laughs> they had this bed in the guest room and the bed frame was already like messed yeah, up when I got iffy. there. And just like moving around in it, eating in it, watching Netflix in it, and filming on it, like all that, it just started to break to the point where I was sleeping literally like sideways. And then like the day I left, it was all broken on the floor and I was like, mm. it was like flat. I also, <laughs> these are the bad experiences about living with me because I just have bad luck. I like broke their leather chair just by sitting in it, boneless, <laughs> and then like the leather ripped off of it. And then the best one of it all, I was cooking something on the stove. Oh my God. And there was something in the microwave, but I needed to microwave something, so I took it out and put it on the stove, and I forgot the stove was still hot, and this plastic plate just completely melted to the stove, and I was like, I'm the worst roommate, I have broke their bed, <laughs> the chair, the plate, the stove top, like, what else can I do wrong? I thought it was funny. Yeah, it never, it never mattered, everything's fine. Yeah, that's good. What's the age difference? She's 22 and I'm 20, so we're two years apart. Do we argue? I don't think so. I don't Not think we've once. ever argued. Maybe in like a game, but it's like, when you argue over a game that has nothing to do with real life. No. Like, why did you attack me, basically? Yeah, like, yeah. in, like, Risk or Catan or something, but not, like, a, I don't think we've ever had a real argument. Yeah. We don't really have anything to argue about. Why would I be mad? Like, like just vibing. Even at anybody. Why, why be mad? That's a good way to live life. Yeah. <laughs> why even be mad? Inspirational quotes from Charlie. <laughs> what is your relationship status? To who? To me? I'm a kid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, like, yes. yes. I was like friends. <laughs> well, it says what's her relationship status? Oh, so I guess I should have. Oh, yeah. I'm engaged. Yeah, she's so, engaged to Juan. Juan with people I was living with. I've been with him for seven and a half years. They're so cute. We've been High school sweethearts. Yeah, we started at 14, and now we're 22. Y'all are crazy. Yeah. Think about how many people don't make it that far. Height differences? <laughs> oh, shoot. I don't even know. How tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five five. Okay, and I'm 5'1", so 4 inches. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a fun. juicy question. <laughs> yeah, y'all are really digging. What's something this friendship has brought into your life? For me, it brought a girlfriend because I've never had like a girlfriend like since high school that wasn't like my family. So that's kind of nice. I was really hoping this kind of goes along with the first impression. I was like, I really hope she's cool and like wants to hang out with just me and isn't just like, oh, well, I'm just Juan's fiance. Like, I don't really care to hang out with the group, which I didn't think she was going to be like that. I thought she'd be more like into hanging. And then um, my guy, like the guy friends were telling me, Charlie likes to do stuff and you like to do stuff. So y'all will get along. That's but, exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. So um, for me, what it brought was that uh, Juan and I have lived by ourselves, like secluded from our friends and family, like three hours, six hour differences for almost two years. So um, obviously we work a lot and we get very tired. It's like pushed us to go out and do stuff. And that makes me like so happy yeah. like it's like really when i was living with them i was like what are we doing tonight yeah and she was like should we go roller skating should we go to the mall i'm like i'm down <laughs> me wanting to go roller skating and can't roller skate <laughs> <laughs> we went roller skating and she got on went down the wall got off and then watched <laughs> i stayed on the carpet fair that's enough. it that's it fair enough what is your favorite and least favorite thing about each other I think my favorite thing about you is I feel like you're just a very like nice and welcoming person. <laughs> like I've never seen you interact with someone and like be mean or like even you don't talk bad about people. Like mm -hmm. you don't gossip. There's never any drama. That's like the best part. Um, my least favorite, you. No. I'm <laughs> uh, I can't even like. I don't know if I have a least favorite. There's nothing I've been like. Oh, least I favorite, hate you this break about my Charlie. stuff. <laughs> you probably broke my AC in my car. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> My least favorite thing about her is that she zones out when she eats. That and is I'm like, true. 
hello? She's like, I've done that my whole life. I'm just like, <laughs> so gone. So gone. <coughs> cut, cut it. That was a good one. Yeah. I'm trying to think like what mine would be. Okay, meanwhile, I'll say my favorite thing. I think um her maturity, like, yeah, just like um her uh, ability to like think past things that she should think past and just like, eh, or like, if she needs to confront something about something, she'll do it in oh, like a really? good way. I feel like, like I do not do that. A mannerism way, like a good yeah. like like. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate it. That was so nice. Yeah. Um, I still can't think of a least favorite thing. Um, how you don't have an L couch at your house. Oh. <laughs> Literally, we've been talking about we're like trying to convince Juan to get an L couch for their living room and then move their boneless couches into the gaming room. Yeah, and I just think it would be nice and welcoming, and she thinks so too. I wanted one <laughs> from the. From the off from the, the rip, get -go. from the get go, off the rip, yeah. Oh, do we? How often do we talk or like text or whatever? Not that often. Not not every day, but at least once couple a, times week, a week. Couple yeah. times a week, yeah, for sure. So like, hop in my like TikTok lives or my streams, or just text me about something. A good thing that I'm happy about is that like we weren't just friends just because she was living at my house. Like yeah. I'm like excited to like further like yeah keep growing keep our friendship. having a friendship while we're all here in Houston and hopefully even past that like one day way down yeah, the road but, I hope so too yeah because I really need somebody to like get me out of my house hey sure. I got you that's what I'm always like wanting to go do stuff and so when I learned that about you like yeah. you like to go do stuff I was like me and Charlie are gonna be like best friends because yeah. we can just go do stuff yeah, exactly <laughs> and like I feel like it was almost good that we lived together the first month here because mm -hmm. if I would have just moved into my apartment I feel like we wouldn't talk as much because yeah. we didn't like have to get to know each other and get closer really fast yeah we're like we live together and now i feel like i can like text her when something like is happening in my life like hey i need advice i need help like mm -hmm. and she's like there for me but it's like if we had just met like the one time and then i moved into my place i feel like we wouldn't have been as close yeah no so, especially because i'm honestly so glad like because you live here alone like it'd be hard to be like oh i want to go see sid like if you had not lived with us right yeah because yeah. it'd be like mm, we've never really hung out yeah like oh that's her new place yeah. yeah but now it's like i'm coming over sounds good yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm like when you coming over next <laughs> uh, on my way <laughs> on my way yeah. so yeah i think it's been fun i think we have a great friendship i can't wait to develop it i'm like yeah what's the word <laughs> yeah exactly yeah oh also i'll throw in one more of my favorite things her laugh literally makes me laugh so hard <laughs> and like sometimes you're talking and then your voice just gets super high pitched out of nowhere and it literally makes me, it cracks me up every time. I literally love it. But yeah, okay, that's it. So thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs> Who thinks she should start a YouTube channel? No! I try to convince her because this girl is texting me like multiple times a week. You should do this trend. You should do this YouTube video. You should do this TikTok. I'm like, girl, start your own. Like, you got the good ideas. Do it. Like, if you guys see something of mine and it's like, that's a good idea. I bet it was Charlie's idea. <laughs> <laughs> this video was her idea. <laughs> so I think she should start one. Everyone, comment down below if you think she should start one too. <laughs> this is a for watching i hope you enjoyed getting to know my friend charlie and she's going to be in the vlogs a lot more we're actually filming a ton of stuff today so lots of stuff coming out soon with charlie hanging out so love you guys and we'll see you in the next one bye